Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther and today we're going to check it out this Morphing Blobs in Illustrator. Also, you can check out the Holographic Blob tutorial on the members only channel. Click the join button near the subscription to watch the full tutorial. We're going to do both. I'm going to start with this one actually. First step, let's select the rounded rectangle tool. I'm going to create a line like this, make it perfectly rounded. This is going to be the size. I'm going to press Ctrl C, Ctrl F, press and hold Shift, rotate it 90 degrees, select both. Go to Pathfinder and click on Unite. If you don't have a Pathfinder, go to Windows and select the Pathfinder. Press and hold Shift, rotate it once. There you go. From here, we're going to need to make these corners rounded. So I'm going to select the Direct Selection tool. I'm going to press, I'm going to select this anchor point on the right, press and hold Shift, select the top anchor point, the left and the bottom. Now we got these little circles. I'm going to drag it to the right. And as you can see, it's going to make it rounded. From here, I'm going to go to the object, transform, reset, bounding box. And as you can see now, it's perfect rectangular. And I'm going to go and select the yellow. And I'm going to select the mesh tool or the letter U is the shortcut. Now I'm going to click somewhere here and I'm going to add another line where they cross here. See that? So now it's crossing. Now I'm going to add another crossing line here too. And they just cross each other perfectly. Good. Another thing is I'm going to go here to the center and add another line here and also add another line here. Now I'm going to select the direct selection tool. Click to this anchor point, press and hold shift, select the left top anchor point, the left bottom anchor point and the right bottom anchor point. Now we can recolor these. I'm going to select an orange. A darker one maybe and this is how it looks great i'm gonna go to the next one i'm gonna work with the circles i'm gonna select the black long press long press to the rectangle select the ellipse tool press and hold shift to create an ellipse okay i'm gonna press and hold alt drag it i'm gonna press and hold alt plus shift scale it down a little more and now i'm gonna connect it with this one and i'm just gonna position it right near to the bigger circle just to touch each other see just a little bit of touch there. There you go. I'm going to press and hold out, create a new copy. I'm going to press and hold shift plus alt, scale it down a little more and do the same thing. I'm going to position it here, just a touch, pull this a little more like that. I'm going to select both, go to Pathfinder, click on Unite. I'm going to select the direct selection tool and select these two anchor points, press and hold shift. And also, uh, and also select these two connection anchor points here. And we're gonna make these rounded. So as you can see here is the little circle. I'm gonna drag it. I'm gonna select only these actually. I'm gonna pull this out a little bit more like that. I'm gonna select these separately and try to pull it in a little more. So this won't uh, be perfect. The shape is a little bit more complicated and it won't look that good like the previous one, the first one. Anyways, I'm gonna select the yellow for the shape and I'm gonna select the mesh tool letter U and I'm going to click here. See that? And the line just went all the way here. I'm going to click and I'm going to click here too. And, and now I'm going to start recoloring. I'm going to select the direct selection tool. I'm going to select this anchor point, make it orange. So far it looks pretty messed up. I'm going to select this anchor point and this anchor point. So we got a little bit of mess here. I'm going to try to correct it. I'm going to select the direct selection tool, select this. And let me pull this. Yeah, there you go. So now it starts to make more sense. I'm going to try to correct this also. It kind of creates these shadows, you know, like the light is from here and create these strong shadows. But in this situation, when you get like complicated shapes uh, with the smash tool, it won't be kind of possible to make, it, you know, to work these out. And this is how you morph blobs in Illustrator. Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. And also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.